Kimberly Lambert from Sco Middle School. <laughs> and this is confession. I have a confession to make. Not to myself, not to my friends, not to my rather unhappy math teacher. I have a confession to make to you, Dad. See, words are not exchanged enough in this household, and my mouth tends to be stapled shut by my ever-present ego, and I never get to say aloud how much I appreciate you. I never get to say aloud the three words, I love you, but I do. Even if I tend to be the stereotypical teen, talking back and, well, sleeping. <laughs> but if I were to write about love, I would be writing forever. No, this is a confession that has nipped at my heels for days, months, almost two years. Dad, I don't want to lose you. See, your mind is a brilliant spiraling mass of thoughts and ideas, but this disease, the disease plaguing your mind, has ripped at your ends and torn at our lives and torn at me. See, there's a difference between I feel better and I am better. The prior telling us this can only be the calm before the storm. The immune system mistaking your protection for the long-awaited enemy. The stress of daily life making the nerves in your brain spark, causing another attack on your mind, another attack on my heart. And it makes the connection weaker the protective coating surrounding us vanishing as we gather ourselves from the newfound shock. It has almost been two years since we moved here. It has almost been two years since I found out this was happening. But it doesn't hurt any less to hear that you couldn't pick us up from school today because your head hurt, triggered by another attack, or you, how you can't use your arms like you'd used to. I don't want you to be worried. You among the crowd watching me speak the things I am too afraid to say directly to you. See, I am afraid of losing you. We spiral into this optimistic hole of some people live their whole lives without major issues. Not everyone dies because of this. But the thing is, there is no yet to be known cure for you. Only buffers, slowing progression, Lose your legs, lose your arms, lose your body, lose your mind. I want to help you. I need to help you. And I am a naive young child. But I have always said I wanted to be a doctor. And maybe now, knowing I can try to find a cure for you, I am certain. I have a confession to make.